Ancient Galatia, Ancient Greek, Galatia Galatia, Gaul, was an area in the highlands of central Anatolia Ankara, Korum, Yozgat province in modern Turkey. Galatia was named for the immigrant Gauls from Thrace cf. Tylus, who settled here and became its ruling caste in the 3rd century BC, following the Gallic invasion of the Balkans in 279 BC. It has been called the Gallia. Of the East, Roman writers calling its inhabitants Galli Gauls or Celts. Topic: <inaudible> Geography. <inaudible> Galatia was bounded on the north by Bithynia and Paphlagonia, on the east by Pontus and Cappadocia, on the south by Cilicia and Lycaonia, and on the west by Phrygia. Its capital was Ankara, i.e. Ankara, today the capital of modern Turkey. Topic. Celtic Galatia The terms, Galatians, came to be used by the Greeks for the three Celtic peoples of Anatolia, the Tektosages, the Trochmi, and the Tolastobogi. By the 1st century BC the Celts had become so Hellenized that some Greek writers called them Hellenogalatai. The Romans called them Galagrishi. Though the Celts had, to a large extent, integrated into Hellenistic Asia Minor, they preserved their linguistic and ethnic identity. By the 4th century BC, the Celts had penetrated into the Balkans, coming into contact with the Thracians, Macedonians, and Greeks. In 380 BC, they fought in the southern regions of Dalmatia, present-day Croatia, and rumors circulated around the ancient world that Alexander the Great's father, Philip II of Macedonia, had been assassinated by a dagger of Celtic origins. Arian writes that. Celts established on the Ionic coast were among those who came to meet Alexander the Great during a campaign against the Getae in 335 BC. Several ancient accounts mention that the Celts formed an alliance with Dionysus I of Syracuse, who sent them to fight alongside the Macedonians against the Thebans. In 279 BC, two Celtic factions united under the leadership of Brennus and began to push southwards from southern Bulgaria towards the Greek states. According to Livy, a sizable force split off from this main group and head toward Asia Minor. For several years, a federation of Hellespontine cities, including Byzantion and Chalcedon, prevented the Celts from entering Asia Minor, but this changed when Nicomedes I of Bithynia allied with some of the Celtic leaders in a war against his brother Zippoites and the Seleucid king Antiochus I. When the Celts finally entered Asia Minor, chaos ensued until the Celts were briefly routed by Antiochus' army in the Battle of Elephants. In the aftermath of the battle the Celts withdrew to Phrygia, eventually settling in Galatia. The territory of Celtic Galatia included the cities of Ankyra present-day Ankara, Pessinus, Tavium, and Gordian. <laughs> Roman Galatia Upon the death of Deodorus, the kingdom of Galatia was given to Amyntas, an auxiliary commander in the Roman army of Brutus and Cassius who gained the favor of Mark Antony. After his death in 25 BC, Galatia was incorporated by Augustus into the Roman Empire, becoming a Roman province. Near his capital Ancyra modern Ankara, Pylomenes, the king's heir, rebuilt a temple of the Phrygian god men to venerate Augustus the Monumentum Ancyrinum, as a sign of fidelity. It was on the walls of this temple in Galatia that the major source for the race gestae of Augustus were preserved for modernity. Few of the provinces proved more enthusiastically loyal to Rome. Josephus related the biblical figure Gomer to Galatia or perhaps to Gaul in general. For Gomer founded those whom the Greeks now call Galatians, Gauls, but were then called Gomerites. Others have related Gomer to Cimmerians. Paul the Apostle visited Galatia in his missionary journeys, and wrote to the Christians there in the Epistle to the Galatians. Although originally possessing a strong cultural identity, by the 2nd century AD, the Galatians had become assimilated Hellenization into the Hellenistic civilization of Anatolia. The Galatians were still speaking the Galatian language in the time of St. Jerome 347-420 AD, who wrote that the Galatians of Ancyra and the Treveri of Trier in what is now the Rhineland spoke the same language commentary in Epistolam ad Galatos, 2.3, composed c. 387. In an administrative reorganization c. 386-395, two new provinces succeeded it, Galatia Prima and Galatia Secunda or Salutaris, which included part of Phrygia. 
The fate of the Galatian people is a subject of some uncertainty, but they seem ultimately to have been absorbed into the Greek-speaking populations of Anatolia. Gallery See also Ancient regions of Anatolia History of Anatolia Topic Notes Topic References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Galatia. Encyclopædia Britannica. 11 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. pp. 393-394. Encyclopedia, M. S. Encarta 2001, under article, Galatia. Baraclough, Geoffrey, ed. HarperCollins Atlas of World History, 2nd ed. Oxford, HarperCollins, 1989. 76-77. John King, Celt Kingdoms, pg. 74-75. The Catholic Encyclopedia, v. Epistle to the Galatians. Stephen Mitchell, 1993. Anatolia, Land, Men, and Gods in Asia Minor Vol. 1. The Celts and the Impact of Roman Rule. Oxford, Clarendon Press 1993. ISBN 0-19-814080-0. Concentrates on Galatia, Vol. 2 covers. The Rise of the Church. Bryn Mawr Classical Review. David Rankin, 1987-1996. Celts and the Classical World, London, Routledge, Chapter 9. The Galatians. Koskin, A. Das Ende der Romfreundlichen Herrschaft. In Galatian und das Beispiel einer. Sampton Provinzialisierung. In Zentralanatolian. In Koskin, A. H. G. Freundschaft und Gefolgschaft in den Oswartigen Beziehungen der Romer. 2. Jarundert v. Chr. 1. Jarundert n. CHR Frankfurt MU A 2008 Inclusion Exclusion 9 133 to 164 Justin K Harden Galatians and the Imperial Cult A Critical Analysis of the First Century Social Context of Paul's Letter More Seebeck Tübingen Germany 2008 ISBN 9783161495632 2 Topic. External links Celtic Galatians. A detailed map of Celtic settlements in Galatia. PDF, 1.60 MB. UNRV. Com, Galatia.